A team of scientists, rangers and citizen cavers have uncovered a 50,000-year-old short-nosed kangaroo skeleton in an undisturbed cave in East Gippsland in Victoria. The fossil is one of the most complete found in Australia and was extracted after more than 58 hours of caving in a two-year period. And the discovery highlights the role of non-scientists in finding and extracting fossils like this one. Tim Ziegler is from Museums Victoria and he joins us now to tell us more. Hi there, Tim. So how was this skeleton found in the first place? Thanks, Roz. Uh, this skeleton was discovered, like most amazing finds in natural science, by a local resident. Uh, a recreational caver, Josh Van Dyke, first reported this skeleton to Museums Victoria in 2011. But in 2021, when I revisited the cave, we discovered that its condition had begun to degrade. So the decision was made to attempt to retrieve it. After that happened, we found that it was more complete and more exceptional than we ever could have hoped. So it took two years to remove the skeleton. Uh, it must have been in a pretty inaccessible spot in the cave system. It was, we think, about 20 metres underground. It's a very difficult cave to get there. And uh, each day, working eight to ten hours in the dark before emerging again, uh, it takes full effort and focus. These fossils are very fragile when they are first found underground. It can be like handling wet tissue paper. Now in Museums Victoria's state collection, it can be housed and preserved and displayed safely. So how often do you work with cavers in making discoveries like this one? Then are, they, uh, are the cavers an essential part of the whole process, Tim? Oh, I wish I could do this every day. <laughs> but in any expedition like this, working with a team of experienced recreational cavers is totally essential. Uh, the assistance they've provided with logistics and ready hands, um, I couldn't ask for a better group of people. And there's a history of working uh, with cavers, uh, of cavers working with paleontologists in the exploration of caves in Victoria. Isn't there? What is it about these caves that mean they contain, contain such exciting fossils? Sure. Uh, you can find scientific expeditions to Buchan Caves going back as far as the 1880s. And nearly every time any scientist has travelled to that area, you'll find in the archives descriptions of the people they were travelling with. That sense of trust and relationship between a local community and visiting scientists is deeply embedded in the story of how we make scientific progress. You love caving. We've seen pictures of you uh, at work. To most people, I'm sailing into the pitch black or squeezing through tiny gaps in the rock is their idea of their worst nightmare. Uh, what is it about caving that appeals to you so much? It's a time capsule. Caves are unique and sensitive environments whether it's the beautiful stalactites uh, around you, whether it's today's living cave fauna that we might see hiding in the corners, or whether it's these pieces of fossil heritage that survive an unimaginable stretch of time uh, in these open conditions, it's, it's like a wonderland. A very dark wonderland. <laughs> And scary more, wonderland, I would say. But Tim, obviously you love it. And thank you for coming in to tell us about it. Tim Ziegler, thanks.